So I wish I could tell you that I was in the best mood ever, but I'm kind of not. There is a huge hurricane headed virtually directly towards me. Hurricane Milton is a currently Category 5. It's supposed to be a Category 3 when it hits us. God, I hope so. But uh, we're going to lose power. We're going to lose a lot of things. Hopefully not catastrophic damage. You never know. So, you know, what am I doing in my spare time to lighten the mood? Well, I'm doing one of my favorite things. I'm on eBay. And I found something that is beyond shocking. And since I'm probably going to run out of power in the next day or so and not able to make my usual video, or at least not edit it, I'm going to try to make you a quick something here. And boy, do I have a treat. Before we get started with that, what do you wear post-hurricane apocalypse? You'll wear a Zen U50 Pro. Why? It's bulletproof. But back to the gist of the story. I was on eBay and I bumped into an absolutely nightmare post. My biggest pet peeve in this world is dishonesty. And I don't claim to know everything about watches, but I think I know a pretty good bit. And if I know something, I'm going to tell you what I know. And if I don't know something, I'm the first person to say, I have no idea. Well, someone posted a watch and they have no idea about it. But instead of saying that, they made up an absolute pile of... And the reason this story is a little bit personal to me, I actually really like the watch that they think they're selling. I make lists for the watches that I'm interested in. I make search strings, I save them on my devices, and I'm always seeing if a new one pops up on the market. This particular Seiko is the King Seiko 56-26-50-30. And what makes this one so unique, it comes with a NSA case. What the hell is that? It's tungsten, and so or a carbide. It is a scratch-proof, beautiful case that it'll last forever. And I love watches with weird materials. There's a problem with this listing. It doesn't have that case. So here's what the watch actually should look like. And as you can tell, if you've done a one minute Google search, I mean, a 10 second Google search, you'll see this is completely the wrong watch. I don't know what the hell this guy's talking about. But if he was just selling a watch and saying, hey, I found this watch, you know, it's a King Seiko because it's marked a King Seiko. The back of the case is marked all over the place with the supposed model number and some specs. I get it. You don't know what you're selling. You're just reading some list here and then you're posting it trying to make a buck. I get it. I'm not mad at you. The part about this auction that really gets under my skin is the fact that this person is 100% blatantly lying. Whether you're an expert on this watch or not, you shouldn't make claims that you can't substantiate. And this person is claiming over and over and over again how original this watch is and how rare it is to find in its original form and I mean that's absolute nonsense and a 10 second google search would show that person otherwise if you don't know what you're selling don't make it up and that is my biggest you know eBay pet peeve just be honest to your consumers and someone hopefully knows better, doesn't buy this watch thinking it's original or has anything to do with original when it's actually not original and it's actually crap. So let's get into some of the crazy things. So obviously the first one is this watch comes in the 100% wrong case. The original case is made out of NSA, that tungsten carbide material, and it's a completely different shape. This watch, it comes in what looks like a 44 GS case. It's completely wrong. It's completely just a horrible mix mash. This is a Frankenstein watch and this person should know better. Next, which is maybe a little more difficult to tell, if you look at the movement that the person took a picture of, you know, they took the case back off and actually took a picture of the movement, it's got the wrong movement number. So this watch is the 5626. That means the movement should be a 5626, and it's not. I mean, as I said, I, you just can't make this sh 
So that's absolutely crazy. This person should know better if they're knowledgeable enough about watches that they're taking pictures of movements. I, I don't I don't get it. And the last and probably the most hilarious and the most offensive I have no idea what the hell this person's talking about. He calls this a rare moon dial. I'm speechless. I, I don't even know what that is supposed to be. But what I think it means is if you look at the dial, there's fungus growing on it. This watch has obviously seen water. There is decay, debris growing on the dial and has stained the dial. That is not a moon pattern. That is not patina. That is rot. So this dial has rot on it. And this idiot is calling it a moon dial. Calling it a rare moon dial. I read that. I laughed and internally cried because that is the most blatant, stupid, makes me angry description I've ever read on virtually any eBay auction. So thank you, horrible seller. You have brightened my day a little bit from the gloom that's approaching. And, you know, I, I had to shoot a quick video about this and, you know, see if I can get this posted up before all power is lost. But I am emailing this seller. I am telling him he's 100% wrong. Take this listing off. You have a decent eBay history, mostly positive. You've got a couple neutrals, a couple negatives. You know, you're going to get a negative report by whoever buys this watch and does two seconds of homework. So I'm doing you a little bit of a favor. Maybe I'm making fun of you a little bit in this video, but you deserve it. But I'm sending you the email. Please, I hope you take this down. If you're watching this video and he hasn't taken it down, you should email him too and tell him that this is completely inaccurate, completely fraud. And, you know, I, I can only assume it's partially intentional because I don't think there's anyone that dumb who... One would call this a moon dial, and not to mention it doesn't look anything like what it's supposed to look like. It has the wrong movement in it. There's just way too many things wrong for a accident. So, um, so I really do appreciate you stopping by. Thanks for brightening my mood a little bit, letting me vent about an absolutely horrible watch. If you like this kind of channel, you like this kind of topic, Join, leave a comment, please email the seller if this is up in a couple days because I may not have email or internet and I might not be able to do that myself again. For all the people out there like me who are going to be impacted by Hurricane Milton, my condolences, this is going to be one hell of a storm and I hope everybody's ready and prepared. Remember, life is more important than everything else. Please remember, this hobby is a lot of fun. I love the watches, but life is more important. People are more important. Community is more important. So everybody be good to each other, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. If you enjoyed this content, I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe to the channel. Please leave a like, or maybe even a comment or a question. The YouTube algorithm loves it when you do that, and it helps the channel. And speaking of helping the channel, I've got two avenues where you can donate to the channel. You can join right here on YouTube by becoming a YouTube member. Or you can follow the link in the description and join my Patreon. Thank you, I really do appreciate it.